but um you know raj real quick you know um if you listen to some of the if you because i listened to them i didn't actually read them but you know um like audiobooks type stuff and if you listen to or find out some of the reasons why the south seceded from the union they verbatim said no nah, we we want to keep this slavery thing going we want to keep this hierarchy they were very overt and what you saw is the progression of time at the end of the civil war you saw um you know throughout um reconstruction through jim crow the language got a little bit softer just a smidge right to now modern day you know white people they act like no nah, no nah, it was strictly because of northern aggression and of course it was there was northern aggression there but the south was very clear they were very clear what i'm tying to this is you can see how very clear these sisters especially in the 80s were they were very clear about why they did not want to be in relationships with black men they just wanted the child right what you find is because of you know that's abnormal and everyone's like wait you don't want a family but you want the child and you're doing things to have the child and then doing things to not have the family black women probably caught on real quick and this is speaking of something you say oftentimes which is the embarrassment part they got embarrassed and so the language changed from I don't want the man to know the man doesn't want to be around. He's a deadbeat father. He's a the language changes because they want that embarrassment off of them for them being the abnormal one. For them wanting no family or to destroy the family, right? Or to only have that have you around as long as the child can walk. What's the, once the child can walk and talk, you're out the door, right? So that's something I wanted us to also see. Well, well also, go the, ahead, go ahead. it was an mm -hmm. easier sell for white supremacists to make black men, in particular, yeah. the, the villain. So yeah. it was yeah. easy for them to adapt that sort of blaming the man language because that's what mm -hmm. white people wanted to hear. They wanted, yeah. I mean, you know, going back to the birth of a nation and, and obviously well prior to that, they wanted the black man to be the villain. Got so right. all of this stuff with respect to intersectionality that came after this or kind of kind of interesting interestingly enough this was the period the 80s and you know late 70s early 80s the sort of birth of intersectionality as well so that's all the same kind of cauldron of 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 uh sociological uh uh you know uh pathology so yeah i mean you make the black man the villain blame bl the black man uh for everything and of course we will do whatever you need to to make you feel better about condemning your own father and son and and brothers and and children yeah absolutely absolutely and it, it's the um you know i don't know if y'all saw the usual suspects but you know which is one of my favorite movies uh it's the whole thing about kaiser sose you know which is also the thing about the devil you know the best thing to, the best way to present yourself is to, is to be an enemy towards somebody but make the enemy believe you don't exist and and that's what white supremacy has always taught that to black women if you ask me and black women do a whole lot to to hold on to um them them you know what's the real genius way. about that movie roger i still don't know do does anyone know was it ever confirmed that Kaiser Sose ever existed? Was that ever confirmed? I don't well, recall that. The the way I took it, he never he uh uh no, he was not a real person, or yeah. it was the person telling the story. <laughs> I, mean, I don't I don't think I don't think he that whoever that person was that played by Kevin Spacey, I, I don't know if he himself was Kaiser Sose. Like I say, it seemed like it was just a great story that he told. Yeah, yeah, you know, and shout shout out to Sam Sample. His name was uh, the character was Verbal Kent. I was thinking that it's possible that Verbal Kent was Kaiser Kaiser Sose. That's what I was kind of thinking. But uh, but yeah, but my point is know. that was never the 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 very interesting thing about that movie was that was never actually confirmed. We it was never actually confirmed that any of that story that he told was really the truth. Well, that's true. That is true. It never was confirmed. You know, which is a, a great statement. Which, which, like you say, tying it back to black women. And, you know, I, I overheard this discussion on another channel. I, I won't mention it, but there was this question about whether the gender war existed. And uh, this debate. 
And of course, uh, as you can predict, uh, the women were arguing that the gender war didn't exist or pretended as though they didn't even know what the gender war was. You know, that was, you know, a dumb, a, a dumb girl, a dumb girl will fight a man. A smarter girl will fight a man while convincing him that they're not fighting. That's largely what many black women do to black men. They will fight you, and, and you touched on it earlier, Mr. Z, with respect to them doing the end around with, with Goldman Sachs uh, and, and Visa and Google and whatever. They will fight you, but they will in every way disguise the fact that they're fighting you, and it, and which will disarm you to the fact that you taking body blows and shit. Black Uru, from my understanding, you have a younger sister also? Yes, yes. Me too. Okay, so you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know. no, I, I exactly, <laughs> exactly. I, you know, it was I, and I was the eldest brother, so of course I, I took a lot of shit uh, from from my, from my sister. I'm still taking shit from my sister. Christ's sake, but that's a whole other story. Um, so no, I know what you're alluding to. You're, you're right. I mean, they they will fight you while pretending they're not fighting you and convincing other people, in particular, that they're not fighting you. And then the worst part about it is those other people will know they're fighting you, but will still go along with the ruse of them not fighting you. Ding, you know, ding, I, didn't ding, see ding. Her, I didn't see her hit you. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you I, mean? I have an why, why, why would she hit you? You know, I, that I kind of shit. I have an, I have an